Okay, good morning everyone. Uh, today I'll be presenting results from rest breaking trials that were part of my MSc study that recently concluded. Most apple growing regions in South Africa receive insufficient winter chilling of less than a thousand Utah chill units and climate change is expected to affect future winter chilling with a reduction of winter chill expected in warm regions as illustrated in the figures. Possible solutions to negate negative physiological symptoms due to insufficient winter chilling may include the planting of low chill cultivars and applying of chemical treatments uh, such as the most commonly used rest breaking agent hydrogen cyanamide with the product name Dormix. However, Dormix has a, a toxicity risk towards humans and there is a possibility that this product may be banned in the near future. Therefore, we need to find alternatives, and the title of my experiment was Evaluation of Alternative Rest Breaking Agents on Fuji and Rosy Glow Apple Trees, with the objectives to evaluate the potential of alternative rest breaking agents to advance bud break and induce bud break, or to reduce the rate of hydrogen cyanamide, while also evaluating the treatment effects on fruit quality. These trials was, were done uh, in the Fabum region on both Fuji and Rosy Glow apple trees. The treatments that were applied in both Fuji and Rosy Glow were hydrogen cyanamide, which is 50% of the product Dormix, mineral oil, hydrogen cyanamide plus mineral oil, the same treatment plus promelin, sodium nitride plus mineral oil, mineral oil plus promelin, and lastly potassium nitrate plus mineral oil. In Fuji, the control treatment was 1.5% hydrogen cyanamide or 3% Dormix with 2.6% uh, mineral oil treatment, which is equal to 3% citral. In Rosy Glow, the control treatment was 3.4% mineral oil or equal to 4% citral. The other difference between Rosy Glow and Fuji treatments was that in Rosy Glow, the hydrogen cyanamide percentage was 0.5% versus the 0.25% in Fuji. The mineral oil percentage for Rosy Glow was 3.4% versus 2.6% in Fuji. Okay, this slide illustrates the effect of rest breaking agents on Fuji bud break in the 2020-21 season. The y-axis represents the percentage total bud break, while the x-axis represents the days after treatment application. Between 19 and 25 days after application, the control treatment showed a significantly higher total bud break percentage compared to the other treatments. At 32 days of the application, the control treatment had a significantly higher total bud break percentage compared to the other treatments, but did not differ significantly between the hydrogen cyanamide and mineral oil combination treatment or the sodium nitrite plus mineral oil combination treatment. The same results were found at 39 days of the application except that potassium nitrate plus mineral oil uh, did not differ significantly from the 1.5% hydrogen cyanamide treatment. For Rosy Glow, between 19 and 32 days after application, the 3.4% uh, mineral oil control treatment showed a significantly lower total bud break percentage compared to 0.5% hydrogen cyanamide treatment. At 25 to 32 days after application, the hydrogen cyanamide plus mineral oil combination treatment showed a significantly higher total bud break percentage compared to the control treatment. <coughs> At 25 days after application, all the hydrogen cyanamide containing treatments showed a significantly higher total bud break percentage compared to um, the other treatments, but they did not significantly differ compared to sodium nitrite and or plus 3.4% mineral oil. No significant differences were found, were found at the end of the bud, bud counting period at 39 days after application. In conclusion, at the end of the bud counting period, in Fuji we saw that the concentration of hydrogen cyanamide could be lowered from 1.5% to 0.25% in combination with 2.6% mineral oil, although the hydrogen cyanamide treatment on its own advanced bud break compared with other treatments. In Rosy Glow, the hydrogen cyanamide containing treatments advanced bud break compared to the treatments without hydrogen cyanamide, although no significant differences were found at the end of the bud counting period. The sodium nitride containing treatments were promising, 
but this treatment is however expensive and only experimental at this stage. The recommendation from the treatments that we evaluated is 1.5% hydrogen cyanamide or 3% Dormix in Fuji and 0.5% hydrogen cyanamide or 1% Dormix in Rosy Glow. More research is required to find a safe, cost-effective alternative breast-breaking agents to hydrogen cyanamide and future research should also investigate the effect of breast-breaking agents applied on the same trees over the long term. Thanks.